Hello there guys, Bilbo10000 here, bringing you episode 7 of the Legend of Zelda playthrough. And today, that was the start screen over there, we're heading to Dungeon 6. And yes, I've already discovered this warp point. I was doing a bit of farming so that I could get some health, and so I could get some uh, potions. We need to take the middle path. Uh, there are a lot of these guys. Oh, oh, and I lost my sword beam. La cry. Maybe I'll run into an enemy that'll give me a heart before I take any damage, like that's gonna happen, but there's a potion shop there, you have to bomb the wall, and if we just head here, and then we head upwards, we'll reach Dungeon 6, and I think we've actually been here before, in one of the other videos, so that's something. This is Dungeon 6, and that's my health, my health, yes, I have my health back. Alright, into Dungeon 6 we go, Dungeon 6, the dragon. So straight away, when you go inside, go to the right. We're going to be meeting a new enemy, no matter which way we go, but going to the right is probably going to be a good idea because we get an item out of it. Kill the whiz robe. Oh god, you walked in my way. Oh right, of course they're frozen. Yay! Ignore my dogs barking, they're just being really stupid and you should completely ignore them. Uh, we're going to use the magic boomerang for this, because the magic boomerang works wonders in this room. That other locked door up there leads to an old man, but we don't need to go see him. It basically says, aim for the eye of Goma, Goma being this dungeon's boss, so it makes sense. Ah. I had to kill the real one in order to vanquish the copies. That's the twist of the Wiz Robes. Hopefully one of these guys can give me some hearts, or maybe some rupees too. Because I'm going to need to save up for another bomb upgrade in Dungeon 8, I think it was. Dungeon 8 or 7. So for now, get the magic boomerang out. Magic boomerang is very helpful here, although like other stuff is too. Uh, basically, I've actually tried recording this dungeon once before, but in the next room, there's a lot of evil stuff, and one of the enemies kind of took away my magic shield at, okay, it's not this room, it's the next room on. Uh, this room, some enemies, they kind of took my magic shield, it was kind of sad. I want to keep away from those like likes. Oh right, and the bubble hit me, so I can't fire. No, 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 no. I've lost my shield. Well, goodbye world. It was nice knowing ya. Well, not really. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to buy myself a new shield at some point then. That's really annoying. I literally, I can never avoid the like likes in this room. And look at the amount of hearts that I've lost from this room. Like, I had so many coming in here. Oh yeah, and next room we get to deal with a mini boss. I forgot to mention that. It's gonna be right fun. Oh, we might actually still have our shield. I can't... Like, I can't tell if we've lost our shield. Oh god, no, 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 no! I had a potion too, I could have healed myself. That's really bad. Continue. Alright, I'm not gonna use my potion until I need to, but like, obviously it's there. I've got a, I've got a red potion so I can use it for red and blue. So I've got two potions, basically. And I wanna try and save them. Oh god, I've gotta go through the like like room again. I just realized that. No, I don't wanna go through there again. Okay, let's get you, kill you, and if you've noticed uh, in the videos, I have this little sidebar thing that has like my objectives and stuff, and I thought that would be an interesting little thing to add on to the, the video, just to give you something else to look at while I'm playing the game, because there's a lot of black screen, and I don't like the black screen, so I thought it'd be nifty and interesting. Hope you like it. Now it's the evil room of evilness. Oh! Oh, that's good. They don't respawn in this room. That's actually kind of nice. I love how I say kind of. Like, oh, it's, it's not that nice. But you know what? We'll go with it because this is Zelda and they need to be nice. Yes! I can get my revenge. Although, I'm pretty... Uh, you can actually bomb this wall for a shortcut, but I'm gonna need to... No, I don't want an arrow. I want to get my health up because we're gonna be facing the mini-boss of the dungeon in a minute and... He, we've met this mini-boss before, and we're going to meet him again. Let's just wait for the health bar to finish up. And... 
In we go to face Gleok. He came back for round two, or three, or five. Get the third one, get the third head. There we go. Gleok is now dead. He's not as tough as he was, but he, he's just the mini boss, so he shouldn't be too tough. Gleok's one of those bosses where if you actually had trouble with him, it was probably in the initial fight just due to the lack of strategies against him. Okay, I'm not even going to deal with the like likes since we don't actually need to deal with them. Uh, I don't know what's actually in here. Okay, where's ropes? Uh, let me get out my candle and light it up. Actually, you know what? I want to go to the north first because I think there's an item that way that I want to get. And the like likes turned into gels. That is incredibly weird. I have not seen that before. Okay. Yeah, this room is where I'm going to get the awesome weapon of awesomeness. I call it the awesome weapon of awesomeness because it is an awesome weapon of awesomeness. Uh, I think we push this down. That opens. And we get the magic wand. Oh, is this a baby? This is a baby. This is this is my baby. This, this is my baby. I'm going to put it in place of... I'm gonna just like show you how it works. It basically, it shoots the same kind of magic spell as a wizard robe, except, uh, and it's also got the same amount of damage dealio thing as arrows, just better. <laughs> All right, and there's the map. All right, we're gonna go this way. I don't know what for, but I think it's gonna be for something, so. Obviously, wizard robes are immune to the special attacks of the whiz robe because they're whiz robes and naturally they should be immune to whiz robe attacks, magic attacks. Just gonna kind of make my way through this room here. Hopefully it lights up. Nope. There are vials. Of course they're gonna- or vias. I don't- I don't remember their names. No, I don't want the recorder. Alright. I have the candle, but I need to kill this- Hmm. Oh, so if you hit them with this sword, then they just die. They don't even... That is cool. That is that is something I didn't know. That is really cool. Okay, so this looks like a staircase room. By staircase room, I just mean it's a room where there's going to be a staircase hidden. Oh, wrong wizard robe. Oh, God, I'm dead again. No, that's not good. That is really bad. Really, really bad. Can someone tell me how that map is meant to look like a dragon? That looks nothing like a dragon. I'm, I'm just saying, that looks nothing like a dragon. Hopefully the mini-boss stays deaf, deaf, dead. I don't know. I don't know what happens. I'm hoping, really hoping a lot, like fingers crossed and everything. But I think they come back to life. So we'll have to deal with all that again, except we actually have the magic wand so we can afford to take a different detour. I'm gonna go to the right in that other room though, because I feel like that would probably be a better way to go. In the room where I got the map, because there was a... Across the lava pit, there was like a way to go right. Damn, I got battered in that room there. Run through, run through, run through. And hopefully the like likes didn't spawn in. It's just the bubble. Ah, get away, get away, get away. Okay. Up one more. Literally, I just want to get out of this room. I don't even want to stay in there with those guys. Oh, thank God. If Galeo had spawned in there again, I would have cried. All right, let's go to the right. And let's go through here and see what's in here. Gonna need the candle. Lucky we got it handy. Kill two. Kill you. Didn't get away with it, but okay, kill you. Okay, so it's the last one. Or they were all whiz robes and I was just really stupid. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Wish I did. Come on, let's kill the like likes before the thing wears off. There we go. Is there any point to this room? Any point? Any point? Not there. Any point? Any point? I don't think there was a point to this room. Let me actually check on the walkthrough. Just want to see if there was a point to that room. Alright, so I'm on the wrong page. Literally, I just want to know if there's a point to this room, because if I skip something that I really need, then I'm going to be really annoyed. 
So just waiting for the page to load. Okay, let's go down to where you are. Do 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 do. What is the point to this room? Oh. Okay, so there's no actual point to that room. That point, that room is just there. Literally for the sake of being there. Okay. That's interesting. I wonder what's to the right then. I mean, at this point, I wonder what is to the right. Because I'm pretty sure the boss room is another right. Oh god. Okay, let me just use my potion, because I'm not confident. Oh my god, that is so close. I honestly think I would have died there from that hit. I literally think I was going to die. I think I was going to- I thought I was going to die. Yep, I can hear Goma. She's having a grand old time. Right, get rid of- get away, Wizrobe. You're annoying. Like, I could deal with the like-likes at this point, but the Wizrobes! Oh, they're annoying. Okay, what's in here? An old man, okay. There are secrets where fairies don't live. Now that is actually a hint towards the seventh dungeons location. Basically, as you guys may or may not know, Hyrule has a bunch of fairy fountains. Ah, it's not Bumble, I have to go around. Basically, because Hyrule has a bunch of fairy fountains, uh... There is one fountain in Hyrule where there is no fairy. And that is actually the secret level 7 where we'll be going to at the end of this video. So you'll actually be seeing the place that I'm on about. Actually, I need to get my candle out again. Because this is where the Vyres are. I think they're called Vyres. Oh no, this is more Wiz robes. Let's get through, get through, just get out, don't want to stay here. Uh, another room, this is where the Vyres are. And let's kill you. And let's head through here. And we have to kill all the enemies in here, so sad. Oh god, these guys are gonna get annoying, I can tell. Like, they're gonna appear in all sorts of later dungeons too, so that's even worse. Right, let's just finish off the like likes for now before I get too quiet, or too cautious, or whatever. And we can deal with the last like like now. And there we go. Which way are we pushing it? Down, of course, because that's the only way you ever push a block in the Zelda game. Uh, hopefully these last few rooms aren't too difficult, because I do not want to have to come back through that dungeon again. I mean, it was a, it's a simple, straightforward path dungeon, but... It's just one of those things, right? You know? Alright. So, these guys are simple enough. I can deal with them. It's just Vyas. And a heart, too. That's very nice, because I've got to literally just survive this room and then go into the next room, and... I live, basically. Uh... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Please tell me there's something nice in here. Please tell me there's something nice in here. No. Oh, no. I'm dead. I went the wrong way, I went the complete wrong way, and it screwed me over so badly. Word to the wise, don't go that way. Uh, how many rupees have I got? 38, that's not even enough to... I need to get through this dungeon without dying. And I have that many rupees? Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> no. So sad. Okay, uh... There we go. At least those guys are generous on items when you screw up. The other guys are, like, evil. Alright, let's kill you, kill you, kill you, and... You! This is the longest I've had to record a dungeon, I think. It's, it's a very time-consuming level. If anything. Uh, no, 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 no! Mm, mm, mm. I think it might be worth actually going to visit a fairy fountain if I get another game over. I might just like leave the dungeon, visit a fairy fountain, and no, because then the, the boss will respawn and it would be sad things. Mm. Jesus, this is really tough. I just don't want to get killed or hit or anything. I'm literally just 
trying so hard to just get through this area as quickly as I can. It's not even funny. It is not funny at all. It, it is funny. It's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious watching me suffer. Actually, let me go back and let me go into the room on the right, because I think that's where the orange whiz robes are, and they always give items. And I can deal with them. Yeah. See? Ah! See, that one gave a heart. That one didn't. Rude. And that one gave me bombs. Lovely. I got an extra heart. I guess that's good. It'll keep me alive for longer. I wonder how arrows will work on them. No, nothing. Didn't think so. Alright, let's just head through. And we got fires now. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on, give me a fairy. That'd be brilliant. That would be like perfect. Come on, please. Fairy, for me, for me, please. No, it's not happening, guys. I'm not gonna survive this level. I might survive this level. <laughs> Didn't think that... Oh, wow, that's good. That is actually, like, really good stroke of luck. Okay, let's get out, let's get out, let's get out. Uh... Go. Uh-oh, bubbles. Not bubbles. Not bubbles. Bubbles are bad. Okay. 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 Most of the dangerous enemies have despawned. I need my bow and arrow for this. Okay. I just need to hit Goma once. Yes! Yes! Literally, that is what you do, guys. The moment you enter the room, shoot the arrow, you will win. <laughs> yes. That is beautiful. That is the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me. That and my life meter going to the very top. That's beautiful, too. So emotional. Alright. And now, we're going to head to Dungeon 7, because I may as well show you guys where it is. So, if you head to the left here, into the graveyard, and you take a walk down and then to the left again, we'll find ourselves kind of looping around to an area we've been to before in episode one. Cause like, well, we like went everywhere episode one, but you know what I mean. All right, let's just quickly snag that rupee off that ghost. Cause you know what? There are monsters here. Let's get some rupees. I mean, it's gonna be dungeon seven. I'm gonna need potions anyway. So I'm gonna have to go visit a potion shop I've already been to. Uh, I can do that in the next episode, or in between the next uh, this episode and the next, though, so it should be fine. Kill those two. Kill those two, take the rupees. And now we head here, and we're back in kind of more normal territory. Uh, we just need to kind of head through here. Now, if you recognize this area, I hope you do, you just need to go to the right here, and I think you guys know where we are now. And now, if you want to find the dungeon it's literally just up here you see this lake this lake with the solitary moblin that we saw once before but we never thought much about this if we play the recorder now it's completely random playing the recorder but if we play the recorder that will happen and that is dungeon 7 and we'll be taking that on in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Bilbo10,000. And this has been The Legend of Zelda, Episode 7. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, rate, share, or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.